Uh-oh, here comes Darren. No doubt born out of wedlock, Darren often uses profanity. He's not a very... Hi there, welcome to Real Talk. Where we talk about movies in a very real way. Are you are you sure about that? Because I, I, I'm being real. I'm such a fake hipster that nothing's real. That's why I spelled it R-E-E-L. It's a subtle indication that everything I do is fake. I, I thought it was a pun. <laughs> We're not clever enough for puns. Okay, yeah, so I just want to say out there that I might cough a little bit uh, during this episode. But don't worry, it's only because it's 420, so don't worry about that. <laughs> it's not contagious. Uh, I said in a school. Oh, I don't. That's arguable. <laughs> but anyway, Dylan. Anyway, do yes, we have some news for you. Um, Lay the news so on us. So there have been a number of <coughs> crowded space oh. movies in recent years. Um, but an upcoming <laughs> movie from Sony Pictures is taking things to a whole new level. They recently announced at CinemaCon that the Emoji Movie will be released in 2017. Boo. Yes, this will be an actual movie. <laughs> yes, Boo is right. The Emoji Movie will take place within the world of the smartphone, complete with an Emoji Valley, uh, literal <laughs> music streams, and several real-world apps imagined as places in this phone world. So they, it's literally going to be a bunch of <coughs> advertisements. That'll be fun. Uh, the movie oh, concept God. makes me feel like a frustrated em emoji, um, but I'll give it the benefit of the doubt, and I hope it ends up deserving a, sh a shower of heart emojis. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm cautiously optimistic that it won't be a total stinky pile of poo, but I probably not. I hope it's the greatest freaking movie that's ever made, but we all know it's not going to yeah, be. Yeah, who knows? Um, the Pokemon franchise and another bit of news. Um, they will be getting a, a CGI treatment soon, which is relevant for our show because that's kind of what we're talking about today. Um, so there's a bidding war uh, that recently began for a live action Pokemon movie. Um, so the popular series turns 20 this year, so um, it's only appropriate that it's getting this kind of treatment now. Um, it remains to be seen what the bid winning studio will do with the movie. Um, will it be a remake of the the original one of the original animated movies? Will they have like Mewtwo and stuff, or will it be a completely new story? It I have no it idea. It better be a remake of the anime, just because I want to hear a new mix of I want to be the very yeah. best. Yeah, I, I want like Ash. No one yeah, ever like dude, I want Ash and Misty and Brock, and I especially want Team Rocket because they were just my favorite. Of course, the problem with that is that if they make sequels, then how are they gonna? Um, keep the actor from not aging for <laughs> ten years. Yeah, that'll that'll be difficult. Uh, maybe they'll just make uh, the new Ash CGI, just really hyper realistic. That would not surprise me. J just ma he'll be <laughs> less realistic than the Pokemon. Right. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we we should probably get to the Jungle Book um, teaser, which is the movie we just saw. So yeah, roll the roll the thing. I don't care. <laughs> Are you alone out here? What are you doing so deep in the jungle? Don't you know what you are? I know what you are. I know where you came from. Oh. 
your sweet little cow. I'll keep you close. Let go of your fear now. And trust. Okay, so you just saw the trailer for Jungle Book, the movie we just saw over the weekend. Um, so yeah, let's start discussing it because so I think there is a lot of really interesting stuff to discuss. Yep, the movie based off the other movie, based off the book, that kind of doesn't have anything to do with anything for the most part. But yeah. uh, this is actually a very good movie, very surprisingly. Yeah, I, like I really, I was surprised by how much I enjoyed it because... Like a lot of these remakes are just kind of like, let's be real, a lot of them are just cash-ins that uh -huh. are really cynical and don't actually have any effort put into them. Um, but this one, it felt like they were really trying hard <coughs> to make it live up to the childhood classic and really reinvigorate it, uh, yeah, use the CGI yeah. to make it feel a lot more engaging to the audience like there were a lot of times when i was on the edge of my seat and yeah for me I the, they did a good job with that. the interesting thing is is that they managed to manage to make it true enough to like the original disney animated classic so that it's like oh yeah that it, they clearly like this movie and they you know i recognize that but it's different enough so that it doesn't feel redundant uh which is pretty impressive for me um what else the John Farrow, I really respect this guy because when his big stance on CGI, he doesn't use it unless they absolutely mm -hmm. need to, which mm -hmm. in my mind, that made the CG animals and stuff in this movie all the more effective because everything looks so real and everything yeah. looks just, you know, they focus on making really, really, really good bits of CGI instead of like making the whole thing like, ah, I'm looking at it's the George Lucas's birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's a good one actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think with these kind of things it's usually yeah. best to show restraint because that forces you to be a little more creative with like how you do things and it also <coughs> forces you to be a little more artistic too, like you were saying. And um, yeah, I, I really liked how they um, used CGI for yeah. the animals. Like you didn't feel like they were that fake outside of like yeah, they talk. Even so, in close ups, they just look yeah. so real. I know. So it's like, it, it, it was really cool. It was like they filmed real animals and just had voice actors yeah, can, like double. Over can we talk animals. about the actors in this movie? They got a really killer cast here. I know, they, I mean, they got a lot of big names. Bill Murray mm -hmm. as uh, Baloo. They got uh, Idris Elba as Sher Khan. Uh, ben Kingsley uh, as Panther Guy. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. All very, very good choices for them. Yeah. The best one of all, though, Christopher Walken as King Louie. I know, I just loved, like, his, <laughs> his delivery was that, was, was just, oh, he played know, it was, he made it fun. It was like an Italian mafia in orangutan form. I know, uh, yeah, I felt like, it was. <laughs> it, it, rem it actually reminded me quite a bit of that scene from Zootopia, where they, there's a scene where there's kind of like a mafia kind yeah, of thing, not to spoil anything, but, like, we saw that pretty, well, I saw that pretty recently, mm -hmm. you saw it pretty recently, and... Like, that's also a movie where they have talking animals and they put them in Disney should just do situations. talking animals all the time. Yeah. They've, they've been good at that for a long time. I um, know. It, it's kind of, they're I, good at it. I will they're, say, they're good at it. Um, the kid that they got to play Mowgli, like, mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure he's a newcomer. Uh, I'm pretty sure they cast him just for his ability to kind of, like, move through, like, the sets and through the action mm -hmm. scenes. Mm -hmm. um, more so than his acting, so... He did really, really great when it came to like swinging across the trees and stuff. But when you had to hear him talk, it was like, oh, I'm, I'm 
I mean, and to his credit, is it is a little tough to act when like you're pretty much the only like actual actor there besides people just like in those little CGI suit things. Mm -hmm. So I can imagine uh, it would be a little difficult to adjust to that from like the more usual dramatic roles that yeah, actors like, have to do. Have you seen the original Jungle Book movie, right? Yes, yes um, I have. And I've read the original book too, uh, which, and it's kind of weird because this new movie, uh, it's a little bit of a mix between both. Um, mm -hmm. I will say it, it's a little bit darker, but it's more like real life, like actually good darker, not just like super edgy emo dark, like <laughs> Batman versus Superman. Um, <laughs> Why is it? There's a reason it's called Real um, Talk. You're I just pretty the. You're just um, throwing Batman, out all sorts of controversial. Batman's in the here. studio too, so I'm probably gonna yeah. get my butt handed to me later. But I, it, it's worth it. Um, yeah. It, so, but <laughs> it is like legitimately darker, but it's mm. got some of the silliest stuff. So I'd say it, that. Yeah, it's done in a very like it's a mature way of like making it. it more grown up, but at the same time, kids it might still seem enjoy a little it. weird if like you're watching it just as its own thing. But mm. if you've seen uh, the animated version, then I'd say you're fine. Like, yeah. <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, and um, <laughs> I, I also thought it was good that they um, brought the original like songs from the animated movie yeah, to they the did. live action movie it because it was just like a really fun callback to viewers. Especially like with Christopher Joaquin going like a... Yeah, that was a lot of fun to watch. <laughs> like the Mafia boss gorilla just... I want to be like you. Talk like you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I, can't, I can't do the voice. <laughs> but Christopher yeah. Joaquin did great. Everybody did great. Um, yeah, there were some fairly biggish changes here and there, but it, um, it mostly captures the spirit, I'd say. Um, it's a very good movie, easily better than Maleficent, which sucked. Oh my God, that was good. <laughs> so this is the best live action Disney remake I've seen personally. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give it um, 135 out of 146 pages from the Jungle Book, which is basically a B plus. Okay, that's, that's a good rating, yeah. Oh, God, very I didn't even think of what I was, <laughs> yeah, that was very specific. Um, I will give it eight creatures in the jungle out of ten. Creative. So, also oh, in the we B love range. you, Dylan. <laughs> um, so yeah, go see this movie. It's another good one that we've talked about. We've seen a lot of good movies lately, which is good. I know we've only had a couple bombs this semester, which I'm pretty happy about. Yeah, should have gotten to see Pixels. <laughs> no, thank um, you. No, thank you. Anyway, uh, we will see you guys after the break, mm -hmm. so stay tuned. Hi folks, I'm Garth Brooks, and I know there's a lot of talk about high taxes and the high cost of health care today, but did you know there's something very simple that you can do to help? And that's just be a safe driver. One, always wear your safety belt. And two, never drink and drive. Traffic accidents alone last year in the United States cost all of us over $100 billion, and we all share that cost. So do your part. Get involved. Highway safety is everybody's business. Welcome back. So, in preparation, preparation, preparation for seeing the Jungle Book, we got a couple insiders in at the Mouse House itself. That's right, folks. We got some, uh, we got some footage about uh, all these different live-action movies that have been coming out ever since mm -hmm. Maleficent, Cinderella, and now the Jungle Book. It's exclusive to Real Talk, so mm -hmm. don't miss out on it. All and all of this before they add CGI, which is. That's the reason why everything looks so fake and yeah. cheesy and why mm -hmm. it looks like cast members and studio members from around here because it's all pre CGI. Yeah, it's just our doppelgangers. Don't don't mind us. Don't don't 
I mean, it's it's very real. Trust me, it's very real. Talk. <laughs> okay, oh. let's roll the video. Oh no! I'm dissatisfied and unhappy with my rich, royal life. I wish I could get rid of these stupid fitty fins. I can do that, but you have to give me your voice. What? Now you won't be able to talk to your fishy friends anymore. <laughs> uh, that's okay, fish can't talk. What? I thought putting that movie. Oh no, fish don't talk. That's for unrealistic baby cartoons. Now use your wishery witch magic to stop me from being half fish. Now make me into a real woman. That sounds rather suggestive. Give me legs so I can really use them in the... Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! gentlemen, what brings you here to the executive boardroom of the Walt Disney Corporation, the happiest place on earth? Uh, we're just a little concerned with the direction the company's been taking oh, isn't it these amazing? last few years. Yeah, call it the crappiest place on earth. Oh, oh, well, do tell Johnson. I, I want to hear. I want to hear your thoughts. This is this is a good environment for listening to, to thoughts. We're Walt Disney Corporation, after yeah. all. Yeah, we own everything, everything, but we're real concerned about the. The level of violence and misdirection that this co that this company is heading, mm -hmm. and it's a lot of it is under your direction, Mister Sir. Yeah. What? what? I mean, it's true, but how could you say such things? I am leading this company into a glorious golden age that's covered in smut and dirt. No, no, no. We we want things to go back to the way they were. In the good old days, we had hand drawn information. The new Star Wars movie was great, but there was too much CGI in there. We don't need CGI. We need <laughs> real, authentic props. Have you That's seen right. Avatar? That's right. They're making four of those things. CGI is the only way to go. Everything needs to be CGI now. You need to go full CGI. There's, soon there's not going to even be any best animated category at the Oscars. It's all going to be best special effects. We're, we have to push this company we, forward. Our and special effects budget is costing us so much money, it's, it's half of our revenue. revenue. Don't worry, I invested... $69,000 trillion. Dollars. Yeah. I invested... Can you explain that? We're looking at these numbers You're here. Putting, it, just, don't it doesn't work for You're us. putting blood in Bambi's scene? Why do we need a drive-by shooting 
First of he all, killed Bambi's mother. That doesn't make no don't sense. Worry, I, yeah. I, all right? I, my constituents in the South, they do like their guns, but <laughs> keep them out of their... Keep them out of the show. All right, I'm part of Walt Disney, the southern half of the country. <laughs> he represents the northern half, but like, we like our guns down there. We don't want our kids yeah. seeing Bambi's mom splattered all over the yeah. East Coast pavement, all right? Swanson, how old is your beautiful little girl now? She's, she's three years old now. Three, three, I guarantee you she has the mind of the 55-year-old because she's been spending so much time on the... On the Twitters and the, and the internet. internet. I don't even know how to work that. Day. She's kind of slow. Exactly. I'll, I'll be. I'll be all honest with you. I'm not sure that she can navigate. She likes the original Disney movies, not this new garbage we're pumping out. The original Disney movies are dead, but we are going to revive them with a special magic dark juice. I'm going to take them out. I'm going to replace them. I'm going to pretend that didn't happen. What we do in the south. That's how we feel about this. That's movie. how we treat them. They're disrespecting us. By the way, um. I just want to run by some names for you with uh, for the new dwarves. We got uh, Quirky, Vapey, and Absolutely new not. Absolutely. All right. I enjoy a good vaping <coughs> myself. But they these kids at three and four, they should wait till they're at least eight or nine to start vaping. We do All not. Right? Yeah, That'd we do be not safe. Need we don't know the science on these things yet. Vapes are and uh, Dopey, what about Dopey? Dopey, he's shooting up dope now. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he's tweeting about it because he has a Twitter now. Why do they need a Twitter? Young kids are following them. And this they're tweeting. The direction. We need the company headed. Lewd sexual things about Miss Snow White. Yes. Children the are beloved growing up children. more and more every day. Every <laughs> well, who would have thought that, right? Every growing day. Growing up more and more every day. I guarantee you, your three-year-old knows... Yeah, your three-year-old daughter knows more about sex than you have for the past ten years. Oh, that is just ludicrous. Oh, that is kids these days are growing up too fast. We need to take exactly. them back to the good old days. No, we need to push them. Forward. Make this company great again. I will yeah. not listen to you. I have a vision for this company. I will drag it out from the dredges. And let me and let me tell you, gentlemen, all of our future Disney movies, from Beauty and the Beast to a great mouse detective to every single Pixar movie ever. We're bringing them all back into the real world. We're going to be adding blood. We're going to be adding sexual content. And we're going to be adding pop culture references and hashtags. And it is all going to be PG-13. What are you talking about? Absolutely not. Oh. Absolutely not. Absolutely. You're out of line. You need to go out there and take a vape and come back and think about what you just said. Oh. PG. PG. PG-13. PG you got caught in pain. PG. It's ridiculous. You got in pain. CGI-13. Slight, mild, distasteful humor is all that we're doing. Light humor. PG-13. The crazy, off-the-charts, tiny sexual reference that only the parents will get. That's what we're doing. We Nothing else. Windows. Not blatantly. Very special. subtle in the windows. And that is it. What? You're, you're insane. I'm done with it. We're quitting. Good. Go over to DreamWorks, you horrible schmongamonaga. You will regret this. I am the future. PG-13. 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 <laughs> All Smokey wants for his 70th birthday. All right, well, we are trying 
near to the mm -hmm. end of the show. Um, I really enjoyed that compilation, but now we're just gonna blade through the end of this Life Gets 420, which it Ooh. is. So, um, <laughs> upcoming re releases in theaters are on April 22nd, The Huntsman, Winter's War, Elvis and Mitzman, A Hologram for the King, Tale of Tales, Compadres and the Meddler, and on April 29th, Kenu, Mother's Day, Rashid and Clint, Papa Hemingway in Cuba, A Beautiful Planet, Viva, and The new the, the Man <coughs> the New Infinity, Sea uh, Play. All right, and upcoming on Netflix, on April 22nd, we got Catching the Sun, Pat Oswald, Talking for Clapping, 24th, The Minions, huh. 27th, Begin Again, The Fosters, mm -hmm. Season 3, 29th, Danger Mouse, Season 1, Hellion, Special Correspondence, Teen Foxcatcher, on the 30th, Sensitive Skin. <laughs> so, you can join us again in another couple weeks where we will be going to see a video game movie. Joy. Yes, yes, uh, and it, I'm sure it won't be terrible at all. Just let... Not unlike every single other video go. game movie no. ever made. I mean, Ratchet Ralph was good. That's so not based I off anything, though. Well, it's based. Have you seen New? Have you seen Super Mario Brothers? I have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that was the '90s. It's a different time now. The Lady Hill movie was made, and that was well, good. That was I based off like a consumer product. Well, we'll see what happens here. Um, it trailers look promising. I've never played Ratchet and Clank, but uh, I'm looking forward to the movie. I'm looking forward to you guys joining us to talk about mm -hmm. us going to see this movie based off a game that we haven't played because I needed to add that in at the last minute. Yeah, well, it, it, should, it should be a fun one to watch even though we, I mean, you don't necessarily need to have the background so you know, to enjoy it. Maybe we'll have to get one of the home screen guys on. Yeah, again. perhaps, <laughs> perhaps. <sighs> if, you have to, we'll if you have to stoop that low, we can do that. We'll see. Anyway, again, thank you so much for uh, joining us here yes, this evening. Thank you for bearing you through all of this. <laughs> yep, and hopefully you were watching this while having a very good time at home on 420. And I know what you were doing. So does Max. So anyway, have a good night. We'll see you soon. Bye. See ya. In another world. Our galaxy is in a state of crisis. Captain Quark. The Galactic Rangers are looking for a new recruit. A man with a dream. Actually, I'm a Lombax. Fine, a Lombax with a dream. We want you. Yeah. If you have heart, then you have what it takes. You don't have what it takes. Wait. Uh... Next. We'll discover a beautiful friendship. Ah. Maybe not beautiful. Definitely attractive, like a seven. My name's Ratchet. I'll just call you Clank. Now, on the dark side of the universe. In two days' time, the Galactic Rangers will be destroyed. Stanley, are you texting? Mommy. Dialing mother. <laughs> Hello? An unstoppable evil. My brilliant creation! <laughs> uh, most of the time. <laughs> Burn. We'll give them the chance. An attack is coming. I must warn the Rangers. I can totally help. To be heroes. Yeah! No, no legends. Wait, even better. Ugh. Does anyone else feel like we should have shot something by now? Thank you. This April, destroy them all. When a galactic force threatens the world. I'm going in. Test your gear. And kick. Boom, baby! Some asteroid. Ratchet and Clank. It is curious that the sudden cessation of velocity did not cause either of you to. Oh dear. Don't worry, cadet. It happens for the best of. Oh, that was terrible. It gets 